You know, people have gathered together for centuries to witness great occasions. We've come here today not only to witness a great occasion, but really to celebrate and to participate in such an occasion. Today we come to join together Dalton Cassidy, but it's not really just a union, but a holy union between Dalton Cassidy and the Almighty God. Dalton and Cassidy, so much has brought you to this point today, where you're willing to commit your lives to each other, two lives joining together to meet life as one. From finding each other at a 5.30 a.m. spin class, to long walks, long talks, sharing hopes and dreams, sharing a first kiss together, so much has brought you to this point. Cassidy, obviously you were drawn to Dalton by his rugged good looks, but you also said that you were drawn to him because of his kindness and how nice he was to people. Dalton, obviously, Cassidy is beautiful. But you said what really struck out to you was the time when she apologized for doing something wrong. You found that so unique and you were really drawn together by her genuineness. But what puts us here today is love. A love that was born from first walks, first dates, spin classes, and time together. But love is not simply an emotion, for if it were, it would flee at the first sign of trouble. As I was thinking about the memories um, of us growing up, the word that kept com coming to mind was proud. Proud to not only be your big sister, but proud of who you are, what you stand for, how you treat others, the career that you've made for yourself at a young age, the hard work that you put in, the love that you show your family, Dalton and others. And I was thinking about all of these moments and the proud moment, the proud big sister moment started the day that you were born. As you begin this journey together, uh, the two of you mentioned if you could have one thing that would represent your lives, you both said that you'd like to have a happy home. You mentioned your grandparents and the the example that they have set for you and that you wanted your house to be a house of happiness. So let me give you a word of wisdom that a preacher gave me 25 years ago and it's a, a fantastic verse of scripture and for those who are married today let this serve as a reminder to the commitment that you made. It comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 and it says this, it's a marriage motto for you, be kind and compassionate one to another tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Dalton and Cassidy, because you two have desired to come together in holy marriage and have proclaimed this before God, family, and friends, realizing the sacredness and responsibilities of such a holy union, sealing your vows with the giving and exchanging of rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the sight of God and man. What God has brought together here today, let no one separate. May the grace of Christ attend you, the love of God surround you, and the Holy Spirit keep you. Dalton, you may finally kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dalton Ileski. Thank <laughs> you.